Hi, in this session I am going to let you know about ball bearing assembly. So let us quickly start by making a bearing and the ball. So go to new part, ok, here front plane, normal, sketch, line and start making the part. now escape add relations this and this should be equal and this and this are equal this is okay and now smart dimensions let's say this is 15 and say this is 25 say this is also 25 and this is ok and this and these are equal now smart dimensions and if this is say 40 this becomes 40 I want it let's say 50 ok and this is not 15 this should be Verify. Okay. Now I'll draw a center line. Let's say this is center line. Okay. Escape. And now we'll use a feature reward look ok this is reward now so this I will save the part file save as this should be back new folder it's ball bearing and in that this is bearing save now I'll make a new part which is the ball from the origin and that distance was you know 25 so the radius of it will be 12.5 is this a radius yes sorry this center line I need to select escape let's again check the dimensions 25 correct if this is correct enter and features Revolve. Yes. Rebuilt. It shows some error. Make it 180. No. 360. I want to make this ball spear, but this is not allowing me okay then what's the problem the problem is sketch sorry close this thing 
trim entities I'll trim this section now let's see features revolve yes okay the ball is ready now you understand how to make a ball like a semi circle with a center line and it revolves around makes a spear not the whole complete circle so again I will save this control s and uh, I'll save this as ball save now I will open an assembly like I will close this assembly in assembly bearing yes I want a bearing and insert components I want the ball browse ball oh yeah now click here mate mate with this surface tent and click here and this surface tangent to mate look now the ball goes inside close this and see how the ball moves look ball never moves like this never moves like this up down it only moves in the given profile with two mates one more thing we'll do is again insert component again I want the ball oh yeah now click here sorry click here mate and with this it goes somewhere here let's see whether this works or not tangent click this and click this flip the direction yes okay mate now there are two balls look like this there are two balls now click here mate with this ball and I will specify the distance between two will be say zero okay close now see distance between them is zero so when you move the second ball clockwise the first ball also moves and when you take it back it gives a feeling of ball bearing the balls inside the bearing like this now again I will do is insert components browse one more ball this time click here mate and then with this surface it goes straight okay and this ball and this surface and flip the direction tangent okay and again this ball close this now this ball is moving like this it overlaps the other ball so this mate with this ball and the distance will be again the same zero and then okay close this thing and look now if one ball is moving the other is also moving like this like this you can also apply motion to this thing but keep in mind like what is exactly happen happening a path is being given and the ball are moving in that part so if it's a rectangular block with with a wavy a wavy kind of structure like this like mountainous structure like this so and if the path is being given so when a ball is placed inside that structure it moves along with that part because there are two profiles control Z so there are three balls in all so this is ball bearing and now you can cover this thing with 
a top cover but somehow for our tutorial it's not necessary this is only to show how a ball bearing can be made easily thank you